Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. This is day two, the actual install of the footer pipe here in Spring Hill, Florida. What we're going to do, we've already started, is we pulled back the shell. You can see all the shell that was in here. And we're going to trench along the wall to install the footer pipe. And we're using Easy Flow, which is four inch perforated pipe surrounded by styrofoam. It's encased in fabric. We're going to do this whole wall, hook the downspouts up separate, come out and go over this hill, both there and back there behind the pool pump. We're also doing this in the front. Remember I pulled these shrubs the day before and we're going to do this wall here in the front and then also bring that line out. Remember I tunneled the sidewalk. It'll come out and go over the hill and then one final spot is over here where all the utilities are, which makes it a fun little excavation. But same thing, pulled back all the shell, put it on the tarps, and now we're trenching out the line as we come through to put in our styrofoam peanut pipe. Um, this is called Easy Flow, comes in a 10 foot section. What it is, it is, styro it is four inch perforated pipe surrounded by styrofoam peanuts encased in fabric. It works really good. And we're going to come right up here to the corner of the wall. That's where the line starts. Clean all that off all the way down. And we'll paint that wall with liquid rubber. Okay, so a couple of things here while we're excavating. You can see what causes problems. You can see the tree roots here. These are from, whoops, these are from the Indian hawthorns that I removed. And you can kind of see how they're growing up under the stucco all through and in, into that footer right underneath the floor so water travels along those roots and again it just comes right up in your floor inside the base of the floor so real typical problem but I just kind of wanted you to see how the root system grows and again the big problem here is this concrete edging which was placed all around the outside foundation although it looks really good it trapped the water and water couldn't escape so now we're just about ready to lay some pipe. Um, I just want to check it and then we'll paint the wall, wash it all off and then paint the wall with our liquid. So here in the front, remember here's the front, typical Florida, very basic design of a home here that's very common throughout the whole state. This section of the trench is actually solid pipe. We're collecting water with our footer pipe along that wall back there and then it switches to solid and comes out. Remember I tunneled the sidewalk. We're gonna attach the downspout and pipe it out right over this hill just just to where we have daylight in other words as gravity catches up to the line that's where it'll discharge okay just to kind of give you the idea you can see we were using the easy flow this is a very thick material because it's got so much um, styrofoam peanuts wrapped around it we are just right at the footer level and just below the top of the floor however it's very shallow so only a couple of inches of soil is going to go back on top of this. It's still going to work great, but really a, such a shallow footer that it makes you wonder you know, how they do these things here sometimes in Florida. Anyways, just wanted to check it so you can see a little bit more trenching to do up there and go around the corner and we're ready to clean this footer off and wash it off and then go ahead and apply the liquid rubber. Okay, just another real quick example of the tree roots or roots causing problems. First of all, you can see we went underneath their concrete edging coming right over to the foundation wall. And you can see all the tree roots that are growing. These are from those viburnums. They're growing right underneath of and through the foundation. Big breach right here. We'll cut all that off, seal it up, and then we'll clean this off. And we're almost ready to install. Notice that I created a much wider tunnel under here because the downspout drain is separate we don't want that downspout water coming back along this foundation. So we've got two lines that come out. We may join them together and send one line out over the hill. Okay, so we've got this excavated. Next, take your garden hose. And what we're doing is we're just cleaning off right down to the, to the footer. You can see the footer there, the overpour. We're gonna wash all this off, get it nice and clean. And then we will go ahead and install or excuse me, then we'll go ahead and put our liquid rubber up on here. We're going to paint it up to about, as you can see where that water's hitting, 
up to about that height. That's the bottom of the floor. And you'll notice that I made the trench a little bit wide because this is a, actually a monolithic slab. We're gonna move our footer pipe out about six or eight inches so that we don't undermine the foundation. So sometimes you do have to be off of the footer. Um, you notice I had to tunnel underneath of this uh, little pour here and then you've got the pool pump. We're gonna run just a, a perforated pipe, four inch perforated with a sock around it. And it'll just go right through there and then pick it up on the other side. But yeah, real straightforward. Remember, we're doing three walls. We're doing the other side as well. And those guys are working over there. They're almost done. Same thing, looks just like this. But looking really good. Came out just like I thought it would. <laughs> and a real good project. I mean, this is a great project for the do-it-yourselfer. Something that you can easily do yourself. And it's a lot of labor and a lot of material because we're using the easy flow. It's very costly. Um, you know, it's five bucks a foot, a little bit more, but it works so, so good. We're gonna hook this downspout up. It's gonna go separate from the system. We're also gonna let that channel drain. You can see it right there. See the channel drain, the micro channel drain. We'll let that come into our system as well. But we're almost ready to go ahead and paint. Of course, I can't paint under that slab, but I can definitely get the water to move through there in a perforated pipe with a, with a shock around it. And I'll show you that when we install it. So we're ready. We'll let this dry off and we're ready to paint. Okay, so we finished cleaning off the footer. Now we just need to get this, you know, a little bit of water to drain down. It'll go right on down through the soil. Then we're ready to go ahead and paint with our liquid rubber, seal that wall. This one's ready to go all the way back and underneath of that little slab pour that they put the pull pump on. Here in the front, you can see all the over pour that I talked about, but you can see there's good solid footer down below that. We just need to paint all the way down, seal as much of that as possible, up under the stucco as well, um, all the way to the garage wall. We're not concerned about the garage wall at this time. We wanna make sure we get this water Go, stop the water from coming in to this front living area over here on the bedroom side this is the back of the house you can see there's the, the pool and the lanai two downspouts we're going to tie those together they're going to go around behind this bush out to a pop-up we've already cleaned off this wall and you notice again that the trench is extra wide here because we're actually moving our footer pipe off of the wall because it is so shallow that we don't want to be right on that footer Sprinkler will just lift up out of the way and again seal this wall all the way down through here back into that corner as well. The discharge of the system, the same on the other side, we're going to come out right here. It'll come out and you can see I've already started the trench basically looking for uh, whatever kind of cable you know, and telephone things like that are underground. So we've started the trench. You can see here's more of that and here's the, the actual cable or telephone, whatever it is. It's gotta come gravity, so it's gotta discharge to daylight. It has to come a long ways here. But still, we're fortunate, there's a hill. It'll discharge here somewhere, maybe a few more feet this way, whatever. But they don't need a sump pump because if you can see it, there's definitely a downhill run, definitely a downhill run coming out to the front. So, you know, this morning we did the excavated the walls that went really quick now the sun's up and this trench is pretty deep let me step down in here so you can see it's about knee deep and the reason why is we have to have good gravity from over there along the wall we're going to tunnel underneath of this little curb and connect that but it's got to have really good fall as it runs all the way out front okay so we're laying our footer pipe you can see we've got the easy flow styrofoam peanuts and because we're going underneath of this slab i tunneled underneath of it what i did was i wrapped i wrapped this perforated pipe with fabric i can't get gravel or anything under there so i'm just going to slide it right up underneath of there and that'll help that flow it'll also collect water but we're going to be discharging over here as well coming down this direction 
We're also going to discharge at the other end, so water will flow out of this area both directions. Now all I've got to do is I'm going to lay the rest of this peanut pipe, we call it, and go ahead and hook them together, and then we'll backfill. We're going to fill it right up above this, right up to that mark on the wall right there. So this wall is done and ready to backfill. We've got our perforated pipe that's just wrapped in fabric going underneath of the slab that holds the pool pump. And you can see the easy flow, the peanut pipe, we're about six or eight inches off the wall um, because we are right at the bottom of that footer. We don't want to undermine it, so we're going to backfill behind that. Um, but we need a place for that water to go, and water's going to flood up from the bottom into the styrofoam, into the perforated pipe, and it'll be carried away down to this side. And you can see the trench where it goes out. It'll discharge the daylight over the hill. The same thing at the other end. We're digging that trench out over the hill as well. Next, we'll go ahead and put a T on this section right here. Connect that downspout, and all that water is gonna go right out through this trench. Okay, so we're starting to backfill this side. This is the front, right by the front entrance. Here's the entrance right here. And we've got our styrofoam peanut pipe, our footer pipe. And you can see it sits right beside that footer. It comes around the corner. Use a little bit of just perforated pipe with uh, fabric around it to make that little connection. Picks up there in a T and it picks up the rest of that footer pipe as it runs down through there. Downspout separate comes in a separate line. We'll put both of those pipes in the same trench. We may wire them together right there, but they'll end up going out and over the hill. Okay, so we've made all the connections. This is an example. Remember, we don't want the downspout drain coming down and dropping directly into that footer pipe because that water would just flood right back up under there. So you can see it's a separate line, comes out, put a Y on it, it happens to be right underneath this curb real tough spot but anyways um, and then the footer pipe you can see comes around there's a T to let that water out into the discharge and we'll put that to daylight with a little pop-up right there at the end so we're, we're back filling and we're gonna put this uh, landscape fabric back you know rake that out make it flat then we're gonna try to put back those shells best we can there's going to be some sand in there but the rain should take it all right out of there backfill in this trench same thing here you can see we piled up all the shells and we'll go ahead and grade all that out this system should work really good the combination of the blackjack number 57 which is the waterproofing compound that helps keep that water from you know penetrating through that stucco onto the floor and of course we have that uh, styrofoam peanut pipe down it's about six or eight inches away from the wall coming all the way around the foundation tees in goes that way too it's going to discharge right out here okay so we've got it all backfilled you can see here's one of the discharge points remember it has to discharge to daylight so it comes downhill this is the footer pipe drain it runs all the way back nice deep trench this will all settle in a couple of rains pretty quick got the shell back of course a little bit of sand in there but that will wash right down when you know big rains come just wash that dirt right down through the downspout drains two of them they actually come right out here to a pop-up just trying to get that water out of that bed and that way we know that there's no flooding in occurring in there we hooked up this downspout as well little pop-up right here at the back you can see it, it just comes right out here to a pop-up and then here by the backside by the pool, we've got it all backfilled, shell in. Downspout comes to a Y right there, discharges out to daylight to a little grate. We've got it all sealed, liquid rubber. We've got the footer pipe installed. Remember that was the styrofoam peanuts that's surrounding the perforated pipe, all encased in fabric. Downspout drain attaches here and runs on out to a grate let's see what the grate looks like did it get covered up yes it did somebody covered up my grate where is it where's oh, my so grate? there's my grate we uncovered it it's not a big deal it would have water would have pushed that dirt right off of there and 
remember we've got the entire perimeter sealed now with liquid rubber. We've got our footer pipe installed. You can see where we painted the line up to the floor level because this is a monolithic slab and it does have a little footer but not much. We've got footer pipe along this wall here. This was a big leaking area. Comes along, changes to solid, goes down under the sidewalk, picks up that downspout and discharges to daylight. Real nice. Good day's work. If you did it yourself, it would probably take you a couple of days, but really all in all, a great job for the do-it-yourselfers. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.